build a video search and summarization agent, run it directly from your own server. Keep all your data private within your own server. Search key events from your own video and also you're able to summarize your own video. It's very hard to monitor multiple videos and various events within a video by a normal human being. But AI is here for you to help by simplifying the whole process for you. NVIDIA AI Blueprint for Video Search and Summarization. This application is completely running on my own server. Upload a video and you get a detailed summary of what the video is all about. There are serious risks while handling the object as you can see here. Also, there is no health and safety while handling objects. So these all can be summarized with the power of AI. It can clearly tell the unsafe behavior and operational inefficiencies. You can deploy this application in your own server. I'll put all the code in the description below so you can start running and I'm going to teach you how you can deploy this step by step and able to process your own video. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Furthermore, here are other examples where you see a traffic, the cars are passing through and there is a collision in the road between two cars and using AI, we are able to analyze that. So we mentioned that you are an intelligent traffic system. You must monitor, take note of all traffic related events. And that's what we see here. Initial scene, first vehicle movement and the whole description even the collision between vehicles. So you can analyze videos clearly and you can ask further follow-up question to get more clarity. So I'm going to use this video search and summarization code and I want to explain how this works. But before that, thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. So this is the overall picture. So behind the scenes, this is what's happening. You upload a video. The video is processed with separated video and audio and also have CVN tracking pipeline. And we are collecting captions from that video for each frame selection, getting metadata and also audio transcription. So all this information is stored to two databases. One is knowledge graph database, another one is vector database. This is more optimized approach using both vector rag and also graph rag. So this is the first step of storing the provided video data into database. So step number two, as a user, you're going to ask a question. What is happening in the video from the user interface? So the request is going and searching the relevant information from vector rag process and also graph rag process from the vector database and knowledge graph database. So the relevant information is provided as context to the large language model, then returns as response. So the whole process looks complicated, but we have all the code ready. So it's just a matter of running the application. At the end, you'll create a user interface like this and you can upload whatever video you want here and ask questions based on that and it should be able to answer. The one key requirement is the API key. So I'm going to get the NGC API key from here. You can go to this ngc.nvidia.com slash sign in, go to setup and generate the API key. So once after you generate your API key, I'm using Launchable, the one-click deploy. There, this automatically provisions eight GPUs, 64 CPUs for that with NVIDIA L40S. So you don't need to do anything. I can just click Deploy Launchable and it should automatically deploy the video search and summarization. So clicking on Deploy Launchable. And here, my Launchable is ready. Now I can access my notebook directly from here. And now the notebook has opened. So here there's a video and summarization folder. I can click that, deploy, and there is deploy VSS Docker. So I can just click this Python notebook and here is the notebook. So it's just a matter of replacing your API key which you have just generated from NGC here and then click the play icon. So as soon as you click the play icon, it will automatically start running your application. You can see the eight GPUs. Here is the diagram. Four GPU, we are using it for Llama 3.1 70 billion instruct, one GPU for embedding, three GPU for Cosmos Nematron, and the one GPU also used for re-ranking NIM. So you can see the whole architecture here. So it's just mattering of clicking the play icon. You can see the Docker is automatically running all the required application. Llama 3.1 70B, Llama 3.2, a re-ranker QA, 
embedding model that is embed QA and it's verifying all the components. It's checking the health if it's working. So I can see the service is ready. Then I there is a command called docker compose down. So I commented that out because I don't want to delete the existing application. Then finally, this block will automatically start the user interface, front end UI, as simple as that. Now here you can see the log starting every single application, including the front end. And the front end is running in port number 9100 and the back end is running in port number 8100. I'm interested in 9100. So I can open this URL, not from here, just because we are using Launchable. Even in Launchable, in my interface, I just go to there and I can click access. So here I can see my front end in port number 9100 and I've got a dedicated URL to run that. So I can just open this directly from here. So as soon as I open, you get this user interface. See how easy it is to get started. Now you can add any of the video. I'm going to upload. The file is being uploaded now. And here is the warehouse. So you can see the person is keeping items in the shelf. At the same time, one fall down and he forgets that. Then another person coming, lifting it, and then going and keeping it there. So we're going to analyze this. We're going to tell, write a concise and clear, dense caption, focusing on irregular, hazardous events, such as boxes falling, workers not wearing PPE, and other. So after this, just going to click summarize. Now it's processing the video. So all of this is currently running in the server which we have just deployed. In similar way, you can configure your own server or take your own server and deploy this application. So you can analyze any type of video directly from your own server. And here is the response, unsafe behavior. A worker in the yellow vest, a man walks down the warehouse aisle, picks up a box, puts it back on a shelf. Operational inefficiencies. That is the overview of the video. So I can ask further question. So I'm going to ask, explain what could have done better. And it's providing potential improvement. This is really nice. Everyone can try it for yourself at build.nvidia.com. So overall, I'm really impressed on how easy it is to upload a video and analyze the video directly from here, which is running completely on your own server. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like NVIDIA NM, I also created another video about scanning thousands of vulnerabilities and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.